Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. One of Young and Restless' most dastardly villains is back, kinda sorta, and his portrayer, Lyndon Ashby, has dished all the deets on his dramatic return. Ashby opened up about Cameron's return to Sharon's world and teased the effect it would have on the beleaguered blonde as well as revealing the length of his stay. In the new interview with TV Insider, Ashby spilled a major spoiler ahead of the Friday, August 1 episode, when he revealed the wrinkle that Cameron is not back from the dead, but instead, he is a person who is living in Sharon's head, and is aware that he's living in her head, and aware that he doesn't exist. Getting deeper into what this means for the young and restless heroine, he explained, he's a manifestation of her internal world, to help her give voice to things that she's afraid to say out loud, things she's afraid to do. He's that person who's encouraging her to do things that maybe she shouldn't be doing. How juicy is that? Of course it also sets Sharon on a potentially very dangerous path if she's going to be acting in the way that she believes Cameron would do. Ashby, who talked about commuting to CBS Studios with his wife Susan Walters, who plays Diane on Young and Restless, also dropped a delicious surprise when he revealed that his stint isn't as short as one might be assuming. He hinted that the villain in this new form will be around for quite a while saying, I've read quite a bit ahead. I know where certain things are going, and it's pretty good stuff. We'll just bet it is. What a treat for viewers, and an injection of much-needed villain energy for Young and Restless, which has been lacking in the devilish department since Aunt Jordan was trotted off to a maximum security prison. We can't wait to find out where Cameron's return will take us, and Sharon. 